So welcome back to my channel everyone. In this video we're going to solve this problem from the mechanics part of Eridov. So we have a chain AB whose length is L. It is located in a smooth horizontal tube so that its fraction of length H hangs freely and it touches the surface of the table. So it just touches the surface of the table. At a certain moment the end A of the chain over here is set free. With what velocity will the end of the chain slip out of the tube? So Basically, when this end reaches this end, we have to find the velocity of the chain. So to give this problem a try and then come back for the solution later. So first of all, let's draw the FBD of this part of the chain, the part which is vertical. So this is how the links of the chain are going to look like. So clearly there will be some force, let's say T, which is acting on this uppermost link, which is acted upon it by this horizontal link. Uh, I want you guys to observe something. So when this bottommost link over here it touches the ground, what happens is that the contact between these two links uh, at the bottom is now broken, right? Uh, these are not rigidly fixed to each other, so you can actually move these two links around. So when the bottommost link touches the ground, the contact in between these two links is now broken and there is literally no force acting on this part of the chain. Okay, so, so if we just draw the vertical FBD of this part of the chain, then the force acting on the last chain is going to be zero because we are not including the chain that is already on the ground. And of course, after some time, uh, the chains are going to pile up uh, on the ground like this. We are just drawing the FBD of this particular part. And on this particular part, there is no fo force acting on the last chain link over here and the other force that is acting on this link is the weight of this and we know the and we know this vertical height is h so we can say the weight of this chain is lambda times gh where lambda is the uniform mass density so now let's say this chain's acceleration is some a downwards so we can say lambda gh minus t equals the mass which is lambda h times a now let's draw the fvd of the horizontal part of the chain so this same t force will act on the horizontal part as this particular force and let's say this was where the chain initially was placed and let's say it traveled the distance of x after some time t so even this part of the chain will be accelerated by an amount of a so if you write the f equals m equation for this it would be t equals the mass okay so now what is the length of this part of the chain initially the length of this part of the chain was l minus h because l was the total length of the chain and we subtract h from it but after some time uh, as this chain moves towards the right by an amount of x it will be l minus h minus x so the tension would be lambda times the length of the chain which is l minus minus h minus x times the acceleration of this part which is going to be a. So now as we don't really care about the tension we can just eliminate it by adding these two equations acceleration uh, comes out to be a function of x. Now clearly we know that a is simply d square x upon dt square basically the double derivative of x. We can write a as a function of x as v dv over dx and we can separate out the dx to the other side. Now we can just integrate on both sides. So initially the value of x was 0 and the velocity is negligible. And finally we have to talk about the situation in which uh, this end of the chain reaches this particular end. Which means the x travelled would be this particular distance and that is going to be L minus h. So the final limits are going to be L minus h and at that particular situation we want the velocity of the chain. And finally the velocity of the chain comes out to be this particular value. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do like and subscribe and share it with your friends. And if you have any doubts, you can comment down below. And thanks for watching guys.